One X Technologies has opened pre-orders for what it calls the world's first consumer-ready humanoid robot for homes. As advertised, the next generation Neo basically outperforms and undercuts everything else in its class entering the market. It's stronger than its industrial counterparts, lighter than the average quadruped, and faster than humanoids built for endurance. As One X reportedly raises a billion dollars heading into 2026, its flagship could redefine what's possible at home or become a flop of historic proportions. Find my glasses. Is this paprika? No, that's cayenne pepper. Also, your glasses are on your shirt. One X pitches Neo as a robot that gives people back their time. Unlike most of the companies in the humanoid robotics race, One X has focused exclusively on household use cases since it introduced its first Neo prototype back in summer 2024. One X is rushing Neo to market as it faces intense competition from Chinese firms like Unitree and fellow Silicon Valley startup figure, which is mounting an aggressive push into homes after initially focusing on industrial applications. Neo's pricing already matches the low end of Tesla's target for its Optimus humanoid robot, which just made its East Coast debut in New York City's Times Square, handing out gummies as part of an early Halloween marketing stunt. The latest Neo iteration inherits more than a decade of research, engineering, and design that started more than a decade ago when Bernd Bornick launched the company as Haloti Robotics in Norway. Now headquartered in Palo Alto, One Excess customers will be able to delegate daily chores to Neo, like folding laundry, organizing shelves, or tidying rooms by voice command or through an app. The robot's built in intelligence remembers preferences, responds naturally in conversation and understands its surroundings. It's powered by the company's self-developed Redwood AI model, which learns and adapts over time, gaining new skills through updates and experiences. One X describes the Vision Language Action Model, or VLA, as sophisticated enough to empower Neo to enter unfamiliar spaces and get to work right away. While its launch is a real milestone, Neo's everyday usefulness will likely not match the marketing videos. Joanna Stern, a Wall Street Journal reporter who spent a day with a Neo robot at the One X headquarters, said it was noticeably teleoperated for most of her visit. In an interview, founder Bornick acknowledged the robot is still a work in progress. Let's call it robotics slop. At least initially, teleoperation will play a key role in Neo's rollout. The robot will have an expert mode feature where a remote human operator can step in when Neo encounters an unfamiliar task. The company is reportedly setting up centers where human teleoperators will stand ready to assist. The idea of letting strangers peep into personal spaces is a showstopper for many, but One X insists its technology respects privacy preferences, with the option to blur faces and to not store private data. In terms of raw power, Neo outranks its heavyweight contemporaries built for factories. At its core, Neo uses a patented tendon drive system which employs what One X claims is the highest torque density motors on Earth to move its limbs. It can reportedly lift up to 68 kilograms or 150 pounds, which is more than double its weight of 30 kilos or 66 pounds. Its carry capacity is much lower at 25 kilos or around 55 pounds. Standing about 165 centimeters or 5 feet 5 inches, Neo's body mass is less than half of what a healthy adult male of the same stature would typically weigh. The humanoid's five-fingered hands are washable and boast a reported 22 degrees of freedom, which is in the upper echelon of highly dexterous end effectors hitting the market today like the sharper way. It's the same level of dexterity that Elon Musk says Tesla's third-generation Optimus humanoid has. Neo's reported specs would also make it the fastest humanoid robot in the world, with a top speed of 6.2 meters per second, or just under 14 miles per hour. That's twice as fast as Beijing's Tiangong, the winner of the world's first humanoid robot half-marathon, which maxes out at 12 kilometers, or 7.5 miles per hour. However, One X hasn't shown the robot running or lifting at top capacity. Its marketing focuses on tedious household tasks that people just don't feel like doing. One X says it engineered Neo with a focus on safety, softness, and human-centered design. 
Its body is encased with a custom 3D printed lattice polymer structure, which 1X describes as deformable material that cushions impacts while maintaining structural integrity. The robot's smooth, fabric-like suit and footwear are intended to make it appear friendly and organic in home settings. It's low-key enough for libraries, operating at below 22 decibels, which is about as quiet as a running laptop. Neo runs on an 842-watt-hour battery that offers about 4 hours of use per charge, which is about average compared to research-grade humanoids available today. As shown here, the robot can plug itself in. Charging it for 6 minutes adds about a full hour of operation. The self-charging capability isn't particularly novel. Honda's Asimo demonstrated it back in 2007, as have modern humanoids like Optimus and the Figure 3. And then there's the Walker S2 by Shenzhen-based UB Tech Robotics, shown here swapping out its own battery. As described, the humanoid connects to 5G networks, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth like a smartphone. Like its predecessor, Neo possesses a three-speaker sound system and smart microphones optimized to pick up on people talking. 1X says its pricing structure is designed to make home robotics accessible to the masses while offering options for early adopters. Customers can choose between two main plans, a standard subscription price at $499 or an early access ownership option that's $20,000. The purchase option comes with a three-year warranty, premium support, and priority delivery. The subscription option requires a six-month commitment. To secure a unit, buyers must submit a fully refundable $200 deposit. It's available in three colorways, tan, gray, and dark brown. Stateside deliveries for both plans are scheduled to begin in 2026, with people who buy the robot outright getting first access. Shipments are expected to expand internationally in 2027. One X's biggest Silicon Valley rival, Figure, is also targeting home deployment, taking a different, but just as aggressive, approach going to market. For more on the Figure 3, check the related video.